Oh my gosh, this video might help you make the best decision of your life. I don't know. But there are so many options, like a million different places you could go, and I'm sure it's really overwhelming. <laughs> but if you clicked on this video, I bet you're considering doing a semester at sea, which is super exciting. Semester at Sea was founded in 1963, and every year since then, for the fall semester and the spring semester of each year, a ship has been traveling the world full of students, going to about 12 different countries and having a wonderful time. I went last year in 2020, on Voyage 127 and it was the best semester of my life. So if you've heard about it or you're thinking about it, but you're not sure if it's what you wanna do, I've come up with five questions to help you know if semester at sea is right for you. Okay, so number one. This one is sort of self-explanatory, but I feel like a lot of people in my voyage didn't think about it. And that question is, do you get motion sick easily? If you go on roller coasters and get sick afterwards, or if you go on boats on a lake and feel extremely ill, that is maybe a sign that semester at sea is not right for you because you're going to be on a ship the entire time. I know people who felt awful for a lot of the trip and I don't think they regretted it. They still had a wonderful time and enjoyed seeing every country we got to, but they definitely enjoyed being on land more than they enjoyed being on the ship. And the ship is a great time to meet friends and have fun. So if you're missing out on all those activities because you're sick in your room, it might not be worth your while. I would even consider if you get sick reading while you're in a car, reading when you're on a ship is so much worse and you have to do it for your classes. So you're either going to have to just stick it out or get a strong medication. Or if you get extremely motion sick, I don't know if I would recommend semester at sea for you. The second thing to consider when you're thinking about whether or not you wanna do semester at sea is if the credits for the classes you take will transfer to your home institution. I know that for CSU, which is what semester at sea is based through, and for Elon and University of San Diego, it is really easy for these credits to transfer, so there are a ton of students from these schools on the ship. But for me, I go to St. Olaf College in Minnesota, which is great, but it was difficult to have my credits transfer over and I only got three of the four classes that I took to transfer. So it is definitely worth considering whether it would be worth your time to take four classes at sea and have not all of them transfer. Also, I did know people who did semester at sea as a gap year, so they didn't want their credits at all, but you still have to take four classes on the ship but you can't just skip them all because you can be sent home for having poor academic standing and skipping every class to lay out on the pool deck. So semester at sea is for sure a school as well as a way to travel the world. So you still have to take classes and you still should try to pass those classes. So if that's not your cup of tea or if these credits will definitely not transfer to your home college, then maybe you should reconsider signing up for semester at sea. The third question to ask yourself is whether you'd rather have an immersive experience in one country or see multiple countries but only for three to six days. For me personally, the idea of seeing multiple countries over the course of one semester sounded like the most fun thing I could ever do, but also I know people who would never want to do that because you're traveling all the time and if you go and study abroad in one country, your family can come visit you in that country and with semester at sea, it's a bit harder to coordinate these things and make it happen. The fourth thing to ask yourself, which is actually pretty important, is if you are an adaptable traveler, up for adventure, and if you'll be okay when things go wrong. If I'm being honest, my plans in country never went perfectly. We sometimes missed a bus or couldn't communicate with a local, so we had to sort of roll with it in order for us to still have a good time. There have also been cases when the itinerary for the entire trip changes and they have to skip a country due to a civil war or protests or most recently a global pandemic. So if you don't think you'd be okay with changes happening and if you had your heart set on a certain plan, then you may want to reconsider signing up for semester at sea. And the fifth question to ask yourself is if you have 
severe dietary restrictions. While this isn't an end-all be-all reason to not go on semester at sea, it is something to consider because it can complicate your travels. The ship kitchens are super accommodating for allergies and for vegans and vegetarians and gluten-free options. They always have everything labeled in the buffet, but when you get off the ship, it's a bit more tricky to know which foods are safe for you to eat if you have a severe allergy. If you still wanna go on the trip, I would recommend looking up the way to say your allergies or your restrictions in every language of the countries you're going to before you go and print them out to bring with you and show them to kitchen staff in a restaurant you go to. So if you're vegetarian, I would look up how to say, is this vegetarian in every language so then you can point to something on the menu and then show them a piece of paper that says, is this vegetarian in their language so they know what you're saying, so that you know that you're safe. This is for sure not a reason why you shouldn't go, but it is something to consider that it might be more complicated for you. And one final bonus question to ask yourself is if you've always wanted to see the world. If that is something that you have always wanted to do, then this is the perfect opportunity to do so. It's planned out for you. You don't have to plan your own travel to get to the countries. If you're on a ship and you just show up in another country in like five days time, and it was the best semester of my life. So if you're considering it, and all of these questions have helped you decide. I am so happy for you. Leave a comment down below if you're gonna do semester at sea, cause I would love to hear, and tell me what voyage you're gonna go on and something about the itinerary that you are super excited for. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want, it'd be great. And I'll see you next time.